<clears throat> Hello, my name is Jordan Wolfson. I am a painter and a teacher. I've been painting for over 40 years, exhibiting nationally and internationally, and teaching for over 25 years, reaching hundreds of students. In a few weeks, I'll be offering the course Painting as Inner Engagement, and I wanted to take a few moments and introduce the course to you. First of all, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch, and I hope this will be a benefit to you. In this video, I'll be speaking about how this course came about and what kind of results, shifts, and changes you can expect from participation. For many years, I understood my spiritual path and my painting path as distinct and separate. I felt they were related, of course, but really seemed to participate in different worlds. My spiritual path led me through meditation courses, yoga courses, too many books to count that opened my heart and mind. I remember so clearly as a boy reading Siddhartha by Hess and uh, the book on the taboo against knowing who you are by Alan Watts and the distinct feeling coming up within me of familiarity, like a remembering. My spiritual path led me through silent Buddhist retreats, Orthodox Judaism and Yeshiva, pathwork lectures channeled under the auspices of Jesus and some years ago now, finding my way into teachings of non-duality. And throughout these very many years as I practiced meditation or prayer, I always painted. My painting too began at a young age and I was blessed to have many, many great painting teachers, both as an undergrad at Santa Cruz, California in the Redwood Forest, and also as a grad student at Yale. And as a serious, committed painter, I understood my achievement measured by my place in the art world, the gallery world. And it's still very much a, a world that I enjoy participating in and sharing my work in, but it's become increasingly clear over the years and something I could sense even in grad school that the real context for painting, this contemporary and ancient activity of handmade marking, the real context for this Creative activity is not the art world or the gallery world, but life, life itself. And the question became for me, how does painting invigorate my life? What is actually going on? There's more to the story, but I'll, I'll pause here and say that I began to understand painting as a life practice, like meditation, prayer, yoga, and it had a contemplative dimension, slowing down and grounding into the moment, and also a more active, ecstatic dimension, wielding intense energy. I began to understand painting as an extraordinary vehicle for individual creative awakening, awakening to our actual being. And what compelled me to paint was the same thing that compelled my spiritual searching and practice. The context for my own painting shifted and the context for my teaching likewise shifted, even as the skill sets I was imparting were the same, how to draw what we see, how to mix color, how to explore the material and mark making, how to develop structure and composition. And in this course, we will be working directly with these fundamental foundational skill sets. In part one, working in black and white, first with drawing and then in oils. And you will learn not only how to translate what you see into a two-dimensional image, but how this activity and engagement leads to a clearer sense of being present, of being here, now, in my body, in this moment, in this life. You'll be practicing these exercises within a context of mindfulness, so the emphasis shifts from getting a desired outcome and the right answer to staying present in the process and allowing the activity to lead our attention to a greater sense of expanded awareness. Not in some mystical sense, but in a calm, clear, and daily way. And as that way of working becomes more familiar, the drawings and paintings, as if all by themselves, begin to take on more presence and life energy, because that's simply what happens. The more fully we show up while we work, the more fully engaged and present we are, the more the material we are working with 
becomes imbued with life force and presence. And these developments gradually start to affect our experience outside of the studio, how we see, how we experience the air and the light, our bodies in space, everything gradually begins to shift. So thank you again for, for watching. It's great to be able to share this material with you. Uh, in the next video, I'll be explaining more of the nuts and bolts of the course, what the exercises will entail, what we'll be doing week by week, that sort of thing. Um, if you'd like additional information or would like to register for the course, uh, please click on the link below. Space in the course is, is limited and registration is open for a limited time. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it and thank you again for watching. Take care.